Welcome to the Elevate Your Brand podcast, where we help online coaches learn how to elevate their brand, become the experts in their industries so they can bring in more clients and create a life they want. I am your host, Chris Anderson. And if you want to make a difference in the lives of others, share this episode, go over to Apple Podcasts and follow us there to leave a positive rating and review. And together we can leave a bigger positive mark on the world. Welcome back to the Elevate Your Brand podcast show. I'm Chris Anderson, your host. Today, I want to just be talking on the topic of overcoming adversity, because if you listen to Monday's episode with Matt Deasy, you would hear his story of overcoming so many obstacles and so many ups and downs to get to where he is today and being super successful. And so I wanted to dive into that a little bit, because starting an online business can be exciting, but it can also be very overwhelming, especially if you're not sure where to start or what to expect. Now, there are going to be obstacles. We know that from the get-go. You should, at least. And challenges as well as you're setting out on this journey to build an online business. But with the right mindset and strategies, you can definitely overcome those and achieve success, whatever that looks like for you. Here are some ways that you can navigate your journey of overcoming adversities while you're starting your online business. So the first, identify your target audience. you got to understand who you're trying to help and how. You can't just go out there like I did when I started and assume what I was going to create was going to take off and change the world. You have to actually know who you want to help and how. What problem do they actually have that you can solve that they're willing to pay for? Otherwise, you're going to be wasting time, energy, and it's going to get frustrating. So conduct that market research to determine the needs and what your audience wants and who they are and how you can approach them. Uh, The second thing is you want to make sure you have some sort of plan. The days of the really in-depth, multi-20 page business plans are are pretty much gone, but you still need a, a good guideline, a good roadmap for your online business. You need to just understand what the purpose is of the business, what your market is about, what they're looking to accomplish through your product service or whatever it is, how are you going to market it? How are you going to get it out there? We push at Elevate video podcasting because of the multi pieces of content you get from it, the content strategy from that, connecting with guests, other audience members, and it's just a multi-purpose platform to get started and grow a brand for fairly a low investment and pretty low ease, especially if you're able to use someone like us. And then, of course, you want to understand your financial plan. Do you have things saved away to start this? Do you have backers? Are you going completely bootstrapping? So these are things you want to think about with your plan and have an idea, you know, of what you have at your uh, disposal. If you have a good plan in place, this will help you stay focused as well and on track to build a better brand online. And that can include your content strategy and things of that nature. Then you want to, this is a debate, so you'll hear both sides of these. Create a professional website. It depends on what your online brand is. If you're selling services or products, you want to have some sort of website or landing page or something that tells about you and your your brand. And you want this to be, because it's the first point of contact between your business and potential customers. So it's important that it it looks good and, and clearly states what you do and how you help these people coming. Because hate it, love it, or hate it, The first impression matters and people will judge you by that. And people will judge you by your social media platforms or your websites. They'll judge how your podcast sounds and how your video looks. And they'll compare your ability to serve them based on that. It's just part of it, uh, especially at the beginning. So investing in a professional grade website, easy to navigate, SEO optimized as a clear, you know, path for those visiting is crucial. Using SEO to your advantage is important. SEO search engine optimization, especially now with AI and with platforms be able to actually take the audio from your podcast, from your videos and pull words out and take things out of those to push it in the SEO search engine algorithms out there. This is really important to understand that and utilize those those keywords those questions people are searching and implement those into your content. This will just help attract more people to your social media platform, to your website. And again, of course, in the end, you produce more revenue if you have the right systems and processes in place. Again, why podcasting and video podcasting is so crucial to a content strategy. And that's why we push it. And of course, always try to create high quality content within that. So it looks good and people are attracted to it. 
Another thing is you want to use and leverage social media. You might hate social media, but it's not really going to weigh. There's always going to be a platform that people are going to be on, that people are going to you know congregate on, and you want to be where your audience is, and you want to stand out, and you want to be seen by them because it can be a powerful tool for promoting your online business. You can use it to connect with your target audience, share that valuable content that you have, help them, give that free value, and then of course showcase what you have to offer. So utilizing social media done right is really powerful. And of course you wanna stay engaged with your customers. Building relationships with your customers is super important to building a successful online business by responding to them, connecting with them, answering questions, getting feedback from them. It can help improve everything you do. And then don't be afraid to ask for help. Look for mentors, look for people who have done what you're trying to do and have been successful and follow their lead. Look at what they're doing. Ask for help. Reach out to them because we can't do it alone. And there's so many resources out there online, coaching, networking events, things like that to navigate the process and overcome any challenges you may face. So I hope these, these takeaways help you. If you have any obstacles right now, building your online brand, these are a lot of the main ones that people can't seem to get through sometimes. So stay focused, stay engaged, get these pieces going. If you're maybe facing an obstacle and you're stuck. And of course, seek out help and continue to go at it because when you get up to an obstacle or when you have a rough spot building your business, you've grown to a point where now you're coming up against old habits or against level of knowledge or skills that you might not have yet. And so that's why these things here, having them in place will help you overcome those obstacles because you have a business plan. If you're, if you got a content strategy, if you've got a mentor, things are in place. When you get to those obstacles, they're going to be a little bit easier to manage and digest because you're going to have the foundation built well. So then it's just, okay, what, who do I need to help me in this aspect or what I need to learn here to get over this obstacle quicker? Cause everything else is in place. And you're not going to have to try to build everything from scratch. And so when you're overcoming these obstacles, when you're approaching these obstacles, having these things that I mentioned is going to make it a little bit easier to get over those. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any others, if you're having an obstacle right now you're facing, and you need some help, reach out. I've probably been through it, been there, done that. And I'd love to give advice or direction or whatever I can to help you. But don't give up. Stay the course. Keep fighting. Stay determined. And remember that the outcome that you want is worth the pain and anxiety and stress you're going through right now. So just remember that when things get tough and keep moving forward. And until next time, keep elevating. And thanks so much for tuning into this episode today. If you found value at all from this episode, please leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. It just helps us get this show, these messages out in front of more people. And don't forget to share this with someone who you think could benefit from listening to as well.